Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing solving quadratics graphically. So I need you to grab out your graphing calculators and have those next to you. And you're going to be follow, following along with what I do. Now you may have slight variations based on your calculator, um, but it should be the general idea when we go through this. Um, so the first thing here, it says the solutions of a quadratic equation are the roots of the graph. Um, they are also called the zeros. It's also where it crosses the x-axis. When the roots are integers, we can easily solve a quadratic by graphing, but when the roots are decimals, we need the help of the calculator. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. So here's our first example. We're going to be solving this equation here. Negative x squared plus 2x minus 7 equals negative 11. So what we're going to do first is we need to make sure it's set equal to 0. So we need to add 11 to both sides. When I do that, I get negative x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. And so this is the function we're going to be typing into our calculator. So let's go to our calculators. Okay, you're going to go to your y equals and you're going to type in that equation. So our equation was negative x squared plus 2x plus 4. And then go ahead and push to the top that graph button. And you're going to see your graph kind of pop up here. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through and actually find both intersection points. So we're going to do second and then trace. We're going to have that kind of uh, pop down option here. We're going to go down to the word zero because we're finding the zero or the solution. So you go down that word zero and you push enter. Now on your calculator, it's going to ask you at the very top there, it says left bound. It might also ask you in the bottom, it wants the left bound. On your screen, they'll notice it'll be like a little like black like star type thing. Mine's blue here. And you can move it doing the uh, left to right things. You want it to be left of your first intersection point. So notice how mine's right there. It's to the left of that uh, point where it crosses the x-axis. So I just push enter. Okay. Next, it asks if it's right bound. So you're going to move that point so it's to the right of that x-intercept. And now most of your calculus are, are going to say guess. So you're going to move it so it's right on top of that point and push enter. When you do that, it's going to pop up the answer. So right here, all right, our first zero is negative one point or negative 1.23606. So that's our first zero. All right, so we're going to write that down. All right, our second one, we're going to do it again. Second trace. We're going to go down to the word zero. We're going to move it over again. So now it's asked for left bound. It wants to be left of that x-intercept, which ours is, so we push enter. We're going to move it so it's to the right of that x-intercept. Push enter. Yours is going to say guess, question mark, and you're going to push move it so it's right on top of that x-intercept. Um, and then you push enter again. So on this one, my zero is 3.236. So I'm going to go back and just write this into my notes so I can have a visual representation of it. So if I have this, um, again, reminder, our graph looks something like this. And then what we did, we did a left bound point here. You moved it and had a right bound point. And then you moved it so it's right on top there and you said guess. And when we did that, our first solution we got was x equals negative 1.236. And we did it again over here on the side. We had the left bound right here we had our right bound underneath it. And then we moved it and had it guess. And we got x equals 3.236. So those would be our two solutions. I do want you going to three decimal places when you're finding these. All right, let's try another one here. Example. Number two, it says solve 2x squared minus 3x minus 15 equals 4. First off, we need to make sure it's equal to 0, so we need to subtract that 4 over. So I get 2x squared minus 3x minus 19 equals 0. We're going to go back and do that whole process again. So go back to your graphing calculator now. I'm going to go back to my y equals. I'm going to clear that equation out. My new equation we said was 2x squared minus 3x minus 19. Push the graph button. Now this one is um, a little bit different here. I'm going to zoom out so you can kind of see that a little better. OK, 
cat's not reaching out. You see the whole thing. So I'm going to move my first thing over to this side of the graphs just so we can get close to that first point. So we're going to do second trace. Go down to the word zero, push enter. Make sure your little cursor thing right there is to the left of it, which it is. Move it so it's to the right. And then move it so it guesses. So our first point there is negative 2.422. We're going to repeat that process again. We're going to move it so it's to the left of our point. Move it to, so it's to the right of the point and move it so it's right on top and do that guess. We get it's 3.922. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down again. Okay, so again, my graph looks something like this. And I did my left bound was here, my right was here, and then I moved it and my guess was right on top. And my first solution was negative 2.422. Over here, my left bound was here, right bound was up there, and my guess was right here. And that solution was 3.922. And those would be my final solutions. And last one here, we've got example number three. This is 1 half x times the quantity x minus 4 equals negative 5. Same thing, we'll set equals 0. You don't want to get rid of any parentheses. We're going to want to distribute here. So I have 1 half x squared minus 2x equals negative 5. I'm going to add that 5 over, so I have 1 half x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 0. So we're going to go and we're going to go ahead and graph this. Go to our y equals and clear that out. Type in our new function. We've got 1 half x squared minus 2x plus 5, and we're going to graph. You'll notice here, our graph doesn't even touch that x-axis. So in this example, when it doesn't touch the x-axis, we say there are no real solutions. So if I draw an example of my graph here. Oops. It looks something like this. It never touches it, so we would say no real solutions.